What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Doctor Doom from the MCU. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help us with the symmetry of our drawing. We're we'll start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top in the middle. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, we're just gonna draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side going out and we'll extend that line going out towards the right side. Now we wanna use these lines to help us draw a circle along the top. So from the center, step up towards the top of our circle. It's gonna mark this off. Now I wanna take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now let's do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking this distance over towards the left and marking that off. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. And now we're gonna connect the center of each of these points to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now we're just gonna rough this in. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size along the top of our page. We can always go back and just readjust and smooth out our circle. And the more we practice this method, the better our circles will be. Let's move out to the side of our circle, draw another line coming down towards the bottom of our page. So we'll start with the left and then the right side. And we'll also add another line going across the bottom of our circle. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, we're gonna start blocking the basic facial features. Let's start with the brow, leaving a gap in the center, step over toward the left, curve this in, and then up toward the center of our circle, go over towards the right and do the same thing, bringing this in and then up towards the middle. From the bottom, draw a straight angle line, going up and then out toward the side. Now we're going out about halfway between the center line and the bottom. And we're just gonna line this up on the right. From the outside of that line, let's step in, curve the eye, coming down and then in towards the bottom. And then we'll round out the bottom of the eye, coming down and then up towards the inside. Now from here, we're just gonna trace out the side and the bottom of the eyes. We're gonna start on the top left, let's step in. I'm just gonna add that trim, coming down, rounding at the bottom and just pulling that in towards the inside. And just repeat that over on the right. Now I'm gonna place the eyes inside this area. We're gonna step up, draw a straight line going across the top of the eyelid. And from the outside, we'll step in, curve the eye coming down and then up on the inside. Let's add a point in between the eyes on the left, go up and in towards the middle and back down towards the right. Now we want to work our way down the side of the nose. Starting over on the left, we're just going to go wider as we come down towards the bottom, towards the side, to right about there. They'll angle the nose coming down and then in towards the center. Now just underneath the nose, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across. And we're just lining this up with the outside corners of the nose. And then from here, bend this up and then out towards the side of the head. From the corners of the mouth, angle this down and out. And draw another straight line going across. Now from the corners of the mouth, we're just gonna angle the chin, coming down and in towards the bottom. And then we'll flatten off the bottom. Now from the bottom corners of the chin, angle this up and in towards the middle. And we'll close this off. Let's add some shape to the cheekbones. From the outside, we're gonna step in, angle this up and in towards the outside corner of the eye. Now we're gonna connect the top and the bottom with a straight line. Let's go back to the bottom corners of the chin, step up, just gonna angle the jaw going up and then out towards the side. Let's add a little bit more detail to the jaw. From this point, draw a straight line coming down on either side, and it's down and in, and then come straight down towards the chin. And then from the outside of the jaw, let's step in, just gonna angle this up and then out. Now that we have the basic details inside the face, let's move out and draw the inside edge of the hood. 
from the center of the circle. I'm just gonna angle this out and then bend that down towards that bottom corner. And I just wanna extend this up towards the right to add a fold. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing over towards the right. And go out and then down. From here, it's gonna bend the hood, coming down and then out. Now let's connect these two points with a curve, coming down just underneath the chin, and then back up towards the right. Let's go to the side of our circle, draw a straight angle line, coming down and out towards the bottom of the hood. Right out there. And we'll curve the bottom, coming down and then just bend that in towards the center. Let's add a fold over on the right side. From here, we're gonna go up and then bend that in. Now we're gonna flop the top of the hood over towards the left side. Let's start from the top of our circle. It's gonna bend this out and then down. And then angle this down and then back in towards the side. Now that we have the basic details of our drawing, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean rough sketch in place, let's go back and add a second level of detail. Now we're gonna start with the inside edge of the hood. I'm just gonna darken up those lines. We can also modify the shape if we want to. Just smoothing out the corners and then rounding out the bottoms. I'm also adding a little bit of fold. down on the left side. And now we're gonna go back and add some detail to the face. So I'm just gonna change the shape of those lines. and a little bit of a trim along the top. Working our way down the side of the nose from the eyes. I'm also going to add a bevel just underneath the eye, coming down and out towards the side, towards this line. And pulling that back up towards the side. Just separating out the mouth in the center with a curve. And adding some more shape to the lower lip. Just adding a bevel along the side of the cheeks. Now we're working our way around the outside of the hood, just adding a little bit more shape and some folds.
And once we're happy with the level of detail, we'll go back and add some more contrast to our drawing. So we're going to always start with the center of the head around the eyes and then work our way out. And we can always add a little bit more detail if you want to. Also adding a little bit of a shadow coming down from the top of the mask. Just going across the top of the eye and adding a shadow on the inside. And now I'm just going to tuck the iris and pupil just underneath the eyelid. So lightly sketching this in first and then just adjusting the placement and then go back and add some more contrast. pupil in the center. I'm just going to darken up the top of the iris and fade that down. And I'm going to start adding some shadows. Starting from the center, start dark along the top, and then just fade that down. And we'll darken up the left side of the nose. And then add a lighter tint on the right side. Now the hood's going to cast a shadow across the head. So we just want to darken up the outside and then just blend that in. Let's darken up the inside of the hood and just fade that in. Just 
I'm gonna go around the face. Now the nose is going to cast a shadow across the top of the mouth. It's going to start with an angle line coming down from the left, and then go back up, and then we'll just darken that in. I'm just going in and adding some reflection across the metal. I want to add a light, even shade to the entire hood area. So I'm just using the side edge of my pencil to fill this in. Now I want to add some shadows across the bottom. So I'm just going to start with a guideline, just for the edge of the shadows, which is curving along the bottom of the hood and up towards the side. And I'll just add a crosshatch pattern along the bottom, just filling that in. I'm just going to add a shadow across the top of that fold. And then again, just filling in the shadow. And just work our way down the right side. Just add another fold along the bottom left. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll add a little bit more detail and tighten up our shadows and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Dr. Doom. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.